students from Eleanor Roosevelt. Gonzaga. And Robinson, meet today on It's Academic. Hello, everybody. I'm Hillary Howard. This is the opening round. You know how it works. Each team begins with 100 points. 10 up for a right answer, 10 down for a wrong answer. Contestants in the studio don't see what you do on the screens at home. Let's begin. Children and teenagers. You don't have to be a voting age to be famous. Please identify the following well-known children and teenagers, real and fictional. A boy king of Egypt, his tomb was found in Robinson. Cute and common. Yes, called the maid of Orleans, she, Robinson. Joan of Arc. Yeah, this Dickens orphan asked for some more Robinson. Oliver Twist. Yes, at age 16, he composed music for A Midsummer Night's Robinson. Mendelssohn. Yeah. Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn is right. We're going for children and teens. As a boy in ancient Macedon, he tamed the horse Bucephalus. Sorry. A boy in ancient Macedon, he tamed the horse Bucephalus. The answer is Alexander the Great. At age 15, this French boy devised a system enabling blind people to read. Robinson. Braille. Yeah. She was 19 when she started writing Frankenstein. Robinson. Shelley. Shelley it is. This biblical hero was just a youth when he killed Gov. Robinson. David. <laughs> it was David. Very good. That's the end of the round. It's academic with Hillary Howard. Now in its 57th season. And for 50 years, proudly sponsored by Giant. Hello, everyone. Welcome to It's Academic. We are so glad you've joined us on this Saturday morning. It's time to meet the teams. And we begin with Eleanor Roosevelt from Greenbelt, Maryland. How you doing, David? Good. Good. Tell us about yourself. So I am David. I am from Eleanor Roosevelt High School. I am a freshman. And I want to thank my parents for coming and supporting me all this time, and my history teacher, Mr. Levy, and our its academic coach. Wonderful. Teresa, how about you? Hello, I'm Teresa. I'm a sophomore at Roosevelt. Uh, outside of academic, I like to do a lot of robotics, and I'd like to thank my team today for, for all the work they've put in to get us here. Yeah, and Martin. Hello, I'm Martin, and I would like to thank my parents for always supporting me. And having you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. A pale adventurer. Hidden in this phrase is what heavy metallic element? Useful. Lead. It is lead, and you don't even have to buzz in for this round. Just for you. Expensive, harmless, incomplete. Something that is innocuous can best be described by which of these adjectives? Incomplete. Incomplete? Nope, it's harmless. John Carter of blank, the warlord of blank. President Reagan said these novels inspired him as a boy, and you can complete their titles by adding the name of what planet fourth from the sun? Mars. Yes, it is Mars. Mississippi, Delaware, Florida. Because the Emancipation Proclamation was limited to those states that had seceded, it did not free slaves in which of these states? Delaware? Yeah. Together we shall achieve victory. These words were part of a World War II broadcast General Eisenhower made on what day in 1944 when the Allies invaded Normandy? December 7th. Where, no, it was June 6th and D-Day is what we were going for. Nice job though, Eleanor Roosevelt, 160 points. <laughs> the gentleman from Gonzaga High School, Alex, tell us about yourself. Hello, I'm Alex. Uh, I'm a 14-year-old freshman at Gonzaga, and uh, I'd like to thank our coach, uh, the AP chemistry teacher as well, Mr. Heat Dirks. All right, very good. Hello, Joe. Hi, I'm Joe Boland. I'm a 16-year-old junior at Gonzaga, and I'd like to thank our friends and family for coming out to support us. And Patricio. Hi, I'm Patricio Fragueira Cart. I'm a 16-year-old junior, and um, I like playing polo. And I'd like to thank our alternates, Aiden and Grant. For All coming. right, guys. News on Network. It will be good news if you can find here the name of what type of 14-line poem? Sonnet. Yes. Euphoric, insipid, malicious. Someone who is overjoyed and full of happiness can best be described by which of these adjectives? Euphoric. Yeah. Blank banks, blank space. 
to identify banks off North Carolina and the vast region beyond our atmosphere. Place what same word in these blanks? Outer. Outer. Outer it is. Patella ulna mandible. A person would have his arm in a sling if he had broken which of these bones? Answer? Patella? Nope, it's ulna. Eventually, it will be the most beautiful great city in the world. This was architect Frank Lloyd Wright's tribute to what largest Illinois city? Chicago. It is Chicago. Nice job, Gonzaga. 180 points. <laughs> And from Fairfax, Virginia, Robinson High School. Hello, Ryan. Hi, um, my name is Ryan Bradley. I'm 17 years old and I'm a senior at Robinson. I'd like to thank our friends and family for coming out to support us today. Very good, Jacob. Hi, I'm Jacob Ogelli. I'm a 17 year old senior at Robinson. And I would like to thank our alternates, Will Taft, Josh Link, and Megan Sullivan. And finally, Mason. Hi, I'm Mason Cook. I am a junior at Robinson, and I'd like to thank our coaches, uh, Mr. Capone and Mr. Bird, for coming out today and supporting us. All right, guys. Jude met Ernest. Hidden in the report of this meeting, you'll find the hidden name of what ancient Greek goddess of agriculture? Demeter. Yeah. Sickly, dependable, lively. A person who is vivacious can best be described by which of these? Adjectives? Lively. It is lively. The blank Atlantis. Yeah brave blank world. If Sir Francis Bacon and Aldous Huxley were comparing notes, they'd see what same word is missing here in the titles of these works. New. Yeah. The Philippines, the Urals, the Hindu Kush. If you wanted to visit an archipelago, you travel to which of these geographic areas? The Philippines. Yes. We are here to make a choice between the quick and the dead. A presidential advisor made this statement in a 1946 meeting of what international organization with a General Assembly and Security Council? UN. Yes, it is. Nice, Robinson. 270 points. <laughs> Stick around. We'll be right back. Is your house less than perfect? I'm Dan from Market Pro Homes, and we want to buy your home as is all cash on your schedule. Call us. No repairs, no closing costs, no commissions. Call today to get a fair cash offer. 301-433-SELL. Pro tip. Giant has great prices on produce. Raspberries for John. Strawberries for Amy. What's a jicama? Thanks. Take a fresh look at Giant's produce prices. Save on Coca-Cola or Pepsi 12 or 8 packs, 4 for $11. A battle of epic proportions. Firefighter versus firefighter versus firefighter versus, well, firefighter. Who cooks up the best chili in town? We put them to the test. And I'm picking the winner. Monday on News 4 Today. Bring it on. NBC4 is committed to serving the educational and informational needs of children. The station's children's television program reports describing our efforts are available through the Federal Communications Commission website at publicfiles.fcc.gov. Welcome back. Contestants in today's game will receive passes to the Phillips Collection, America's first museum of modern art, with artists ranging from Henri Matisse to Jacob Lawrence and Mark Rothko at the Phillips near DuPont Circle. And while these guys are checking out the art, you can check out our Facebook page and like us, please. Uh, this is the picture perfect round. Let's recap the scores before we dive in. Eleanor Roosevelt, 160. Gonzaga, 180. Robinson, 270. <laughs> All right, as you probably know, questions are worth 20 points up or down in this round. This view of the Chinese province of Sichuan shows a field or paddy in which Robinson. Rice. It is rice. This figure is thought to depict a dancer from what Egyptian city, famous in ancient times for its library? Robinson. Alexandria. Yeah. This is what attorney who made news in 1925 when he defended the teaching of evolution? Robinson. Scopes. Scopes. We were looking for Clarence Darrow. This is what attorney. Sorry, taking all roots here to be positive. What is the value? Gonzaga. 
Uh, Answer? 94? No, it's 106. Dating from the 2nd century BC, this sculpted head was found in an excavation near what capital city of Lebanon, Robinson? Beirut. Beirut it is. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. These intelligent words come from what modern British physicist who wrote a brief history of Robinson? Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking, yes. Choice. What is the principal quantum number associated with the K shell of an atom? One, two, or three? Roosevelt. Two. No, it's one. The Pleiades star cluster represents the seven daughters of what mythical titan who supported the heavens on Robinson? Atlas. Atlas it is, and that's the end of the round. We'll be right back. The more you see. Look at that. How good is that? The more you do. I truly am inspired. The more you know. Weekends on NBC. Due to coverage of Barclays Premier League, the more you know lineup can be seen at the following times. At rallies and checkers, you can get a win before the game even starts. And winning just got easier because the four for four comes with your choice of a new Fry Lovers Burger, fries, apple pie, and a drink for just four bucks. Beats trying to fill up on overpriced stadium food. A four for four deal with your choice of four sandwiches. Rallies and checkers, fast foodies know the deal. Pro tip, Giant has great prices on produce. Raspberries for John, strawberries for Amy. What's a jicama? Thanks. Take a fresh look at Giant's produce prices. Save on Coca-Cola or Pepsi 12 or eight packs, four for $11. Hello, it's time to meet the faculty and coaches that prepare these students for competition here on It's Academic. Let's begin with Eleanor Roosevelt High School. Teresa, who's with you? So on my right, I have my coach, Mr. Levy, and on the left, our principal, Mr. McNeil. Very good to see you guys. From Gonzaga, Joe. Behind me is our coach, Mr. Heat Dirks, who also teaches science at Gonzaga. Very good to see you. And from Robinson, Jacob, the guys behind you. Uh, to my right is our coach, Mr. Campana, who also teaches Spanish. And to my left is our assistant coach, Mr. Bird, who also teaches physics. Lovely. Thanks, to, thanks for being here, guys. Okay, it's the packet round of the competition. We have these three fine packets here with lots of questions in them. Eleanor Roosevelt will answer questions from one of them first. Gonzaga gets to choose which packet. Let's go with three. Three. There are eight questions, and if you get them all right, a 25-point bonus. In 1956, England and France joined Israel in sending troops to oppose Egypt's seizure of what important canal? Answer is the Suez Canal. The midnight judges are not justices who held forth at the witching hour, but rather the last minute appointees of what second American president? Roosevelt? John Adams. John Adams, it is. During the French Revolution, the statues of 22 kings were chiseled away from what great Gothic cathedral in Paris? And you know this, it is Notre Dame. Here's your science question. Given that ammonium hydroxide is a base, which of these is the approximate pH value for ammonium hydroxide? 11.1. Yeah, that's it. The slogan 3630 or fight could have described the bitter dispute over free and slave territory that resulted in the 1820 compromise named for what state? Missouri? Yeah, it's Missouri. The phrase, it was Greek to me, comes from what Shakespeare play named for a Roman general who presumably would have spoken Latin. Julius Caesar. It is Julius Caesar. Nice. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. 714. Correct. His political support quickly cooled when a brewing teapot dome scandal landed what 29th president in hot water. And the answer is Warren G. Harding. Nice, Eleanor Roosevelt, 240 points. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, Gonzaga, it's your turn to play. Robinson, packet one or two? Two. Two. We go in descending order. Guys, the Bridge of Sighs makes a big splash with tourists in what Italian city noted for its many canals. Venice. Beautiful Venice, yes. You never know what you'll find when you start digging around. In 1799, soldiers dug up what historic stone that gave us the key to Egyptian hieroglyphics. Rosetta Stone? Correct. It is thought that the oldest public building in the U.S. is the Palace of Governors, built in 1610 in what city, now the capital of New Mexico? Santa Fe. It is Santa Fe. Here's your science question. The so-called red shift, observable in the spectra of distant stars, reportedly indicates that the universe is doing which of these? Expanding. Yes, it is expanding. The American Bar Association was organized in what same New York town where American troops had defeated General Burgoyne in 1777? New York? No, no, it's Saratoga. In New York, but Saratoga. In 2010, a collector paid almost $100,000 for two pages from the manuscript of what 1852 novel by Harriet Beecher Stowe? Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uncle Tom's Cabin. You've got it. In 1881, Vermont saw its first native son reach the presidency when what Republican succeeded Garfield to become our 21st president? And the answer is Chester. Cleveland. No, Chester mm. Allen Arthur. Nice try, though, Gonzaga. 200. Oh, I have one more. Which one did I miss? I missed their math question. I'm so sorry. I went right over it. Are you ready for another? Sure. Okay. Which of these numbers is evenly divisible by nine? Nine hundred ninety-nine or nine nine thousand nine hundred ninety. That's it. You've got it. <laughs> Great. Thank you. All right, Robinson, you're up. Let me keep this math question out so I can see it. William Wordsworth was a peaceable poet, and he lived in a cottage that was named for what bird of peace? Dove. Dove. Yep, it's a dove. Of the three ships Columbus took on his 1492 voyage, the Santa Maria sank, and the Nina was retired. But what third ship is thought to lie off the Bahamas? Pito. Yeah. Nobel Prize winning scientist Linus Pauling was a believer in the healing properties of what vitamin found in orange juice and sometimes called ascorbic acid? Vitamin C. Yep. Science question. Which of these is a colorless, pungent liquid found in the stinging venom of ants? Formic acid. Correct. Among the treasures of our Library of Congress is Thomas Jefferson's personal copy of what papers in which Madison, Hamilton, and Jay urged ratification of the Constitution? Federalist papers. Yes. Jacques Offenbach based a musical composition on the book From the Earth to the Moon by what French author of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Burn. Yeah. Math question. I didn't forget this time. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Six. Six? Yes. The Buffalo Hangman was the nasty name critics used to demonize what man who became our 22nd and 24th president? Cleveland. 25-point bonus, Robinson High School. Awesome. Coming back with the grab bag round next. Well, cooking in my kitchen before was pretty archaic, so we went to Joe at Cabinet Discounters. He was able to design it and lay it out. He laid out a very functional kitchen for us. The term discounter to me is just a word, and they really designed a nice kitchen for us, and it absolutely met our expectations. We've actually gone back twice and had work done. We certainly would, would recommend it to any of our friends. Get a free consultation with an experienced designer. Call 1-800-THE-DREAM or visit cabinetdiscounters.com. 
We, the winter warriors. The ice scrapers. Snow shovelers. Of the Washington area. We need to know when a big storm's coming. That's when we start to see the accumulating snowfall. When school's going to be canceled. A lot of schools already closing in those regions. When the roads are dangerous. Be on the lookout for icy spots. So we can prepare. That's why Storm Team 4 is always here. Alerting you earlier and helping you prepare. With the area's most advanced storm fleet. And Washington's most experienced team to help you stay safe and warm. All winter long, we're Storm Team 4, and we're working for you. Now everyone at home should get ready for another year of Giants A-plus school rewards program. You can earn points and help local schools every time you use your Giant card. Thanks to you, Giant has been able to award over $96 million to thousands of schools since 1989 and has already committed $2 million to this year's program. Signing up for your Giant card is easy. Simply go to GiantFood.com or stop by the Customer Solutions Center at any Giant store. Experience the magic of A-plus school rewards each time you shop and help your local schools. Welcome back for the always exciting grab bag round. Before we begin, let's recap those scores. Eleanor Roosevelt, 240. Gonzaga, 280. Robinson, 535. As you know, questions are worth 20 points up or down. The visual questions, 30 points up or down. Let's begin. One of the world's largest airplane hangars is at Kelly Air Force Base, near what Texas city whose big tourist attraction is the Alamo? Robinson. San Antonio. Yeah. For the second year in a row, the National League Cy Young Award was won by what Washington Nationals Gonzaga? Scherzer. Yeah. For some genetic reason, Inhabitants of Turkey share with many African Americans a high risk of irregular blood cells that name what type of Robinson? Sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia it is on your screens for 30 points. Hang blades. The letters in this phrase can be rearranged. Robinson. Bangladesh. <laughs> Bangladesh is right. Because Atlanta rose from the ashes after the Civil War. The city flag displays what mythical bird that is, Robinson? Phoenix. A phoenix rising from the ashes, yes. Choice. As the atomic number increases, does the chemical activity of the halogens increase, decrease, or stay the same? Robinson. Decrease. decrease. Yes, you're right. An increase in childhood leukemia has been linked to radioactive fallout from what 1986 Soviet nuclear Gonzaga? Chernobyl. Yes, it was. Deliberation is the work of many men. Action is of one alone. This remark comes from what general who was leader of the Free French during World War Robinson? De Gaulle. De Gaulle it is. In the 1876 presidential election, the oldest candidate was 85-year-old Peter Cooper, the nominee of what party that demanded the use of paper money? Robinson. Greenback. Greenback. Yeah. Greenback. Yes. In 45 minutes. The minute hand of a clock describes an arc of how many degrees? Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. 270. Yep. Now permanently docked in Connecticut, what U.S. Navy ship was the world's first nuclear-powered submarine? The answer is the Nautilus. On your screens for 30 points. You can see ruby-throated hummingbirds in this painting by what American naturalist famous for his Birds of America? Robinson. Audubon. Yeah. What one word, a synonym for beginning, titles the latest bestseller by Dan Brown? Anybody? The answer is origin. Among the greatest safeguards of a democratic system is the secret ballot named for what country in the Southern Hemisphere? It is Australia. The large artificial lake formed by the Hoover Dam Robinson. Lake Mead. Mead. Lake Mead it is. Lost for almost a century. What original manuscript by Bram Stoker was found in a barn? Robinson. Dracula. Dracula. Yes, you're right. The what 19th century English scientist who turned down a knighthood on religious grounds is known for his work in electromagnetic induction. Robinson? Faraday. Yeah, it's Michael Faraday. That's the end of the game. <laughs>
Get ready for what should be a messy Super Bowl Sunday. We're talking snow in parts of the area, changing over to rain, and just an all-around mess for your afternoon, too. If you've got weekend plans, you don't want to miss that forecast. Stay with us right here on News 4, always working for you. For all those pokers, prodders, shuckers, and sniffers, all giant produce is triple checked. Farm, crate, and store. We're focusing on fresh, so you don't have to guess. My Giant. Save this week on boneless beef chuck roast, $3.99 per pound, and on 18-ounce sweet blueberries or 12-ounce blackberries, $3.99 per package. To the rest of the country. This is our nation's capital. But we, the people who live here, just call it home. To us, these are running mates. This is congressional gridlock. This is a House committee. This is our Supreme Court. And these are our founding fathers. We, the people of News 4, understand what makes this place home. That's why, for more than half a century, you've made News 4 your home. So thank you for trusting us to constantly pursue facts. I think your work really helped shine a light on something that needed to be looked at. Keep you safe. We're going to continue to watch this line of storms move in, and this will move through tonight. Look out for your family. Thanks to you for helping us get our home and our life back. Oh, you're so welcome. And covering the stories that really hit home. We are the people of News 4. We're working for you. All of the names, the moments, and the medals. I'm taking you along to the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, only on NBC4, working for you. The scores are now official. We begin with Eleanor Roosevelt High School from Greenbelt, Maryland. David, Teresa, and Martin, 240 points. From D.C., Gonzaga College High School, Alex, Joe, and Patricio, 320 points. And from Robinson High School in Fairfax, Virginia, the guys who wouldn't give over the buzzer and got them right most of the time, Ryan, Jacob, and Mason coming back for the playoffs with one of the all-time record highs, 805 points. Don't know if it's a record. But it's definitely up there toward the top. Amazing job. Listen, stay with us uh, next week when we have George Mason, McLean, and Parkdale. Until then, I'm Hillary Howard. So glad you were with us today. Remember, education matters. Everybody, come on down. Epic proportions. Firefighter versus firefighter versus firefighter versus, well, firefighter. Who cooks up the best chili in town? We put them to the test. And I'm picking the winner. Monday on News 4 Today. Bring it on. You know, you paid too much for your glasses. Who? Uh, you? They charged you too much. Who? Practically anyone who isn't America's best. Or two pairs and a free exam are just $69.95. Oh, that is low. Yep, you save on contacts there, too. I've got to see this. You know, you charge too much for cable. Yeah, it's not my department, dude. Seriously?
two pairs and a free exam for just $69.95. It's not just a better deal, it's America's best. We, the Winter Warriors, the ice scrapers, snow shovelers of the Washington area, we need to know when a big storm's coming. That's when we start to see the accumulating snowfall. When school's going to be canceled. A lot of schools already closing in those regions. When the roads are dangerous. Be on the lookout for icy spots so we can prepare. That's why Storm Team 4 is always here. Alerting you earlier and helping you prepare. With the area's most advanced storm fleet. And Washington's most experienced team to help you stay safe and warm. All winter long, we're Storm Team 4 and we're working for you.